The example that everybody knows is Gelibrand gelatin, right? So that is a hydrogel. And effectively what we do is we make really fancy and expensive versions of, of Jello. But these hydrogels are made from a thick nanofibrous material that keeps cells and meds in the right place. Those nanofibers uh, make a network that might look like a spider web or whatnot and effectively hold the water in place. For instance, if you had melanoma, you could potentially inject one of these hydrogels that maybe even had some other types of drugs that could help kill the cancer. The gels cause an inflammatory reaction in the body and then dissolve and are replaced by functional tissue. And not only decrease the tumor here, but have your immune system affect tumors in different parts of the body. In the case of a heart attack, the gels would keep the good cells in place to heal the damage to the heart muscle. You can mix the cells with the hydrogel and hopefully the cells will stick around a little longer. Rice University helped develop the hydrogels and partnered with the Texas Heart Institute, which defined the body's responses to the gels. This approach could save cancer patients from undergoing chemo, which is super toxic. The idea behind immunotherapy is that instead of delivering a toxic drug to the body, you manipulate the body's uh, own immune system and make it more effective at fighting cancer cells. I'm Marty Salt reporting.